This is a quick look at navigation in Windows 8 XAML apps. What I've got here, if you follow the article along, is page A. Uh, page A is a layout aware page, and I've added a button to it um, that says to page B. And when I click on to page B, you can see that it takes me to page B, and I also get a backwards arrow allowing me to navigate back to page A. Um, that's all part of the layout aware page, it's all built in, and it's bound to the can go back property of the page which looks in the back stack to see if we've previously navigated and allowed the user to navigate backwards through that, that navigation stack. So when I click on page B, you'll see I also have a button that says to page A. If I click on the page A button, I'm now on page A, but you can see that I have a back button. And if I click on that, it takes me back to page B. And if I click on this back button, it takes me back to page A. And this is the initial page of my application. Uh, the challenge with this is that as we build applications, especially ones that collect user from data uh, from data from users I'm sorry is that they will fill out a form or enter some sort of data and they'll hit submit and you navigate them to a new page that confirms that their data has been um, uh, accepted or saved or even display it to confirm that that's what they want to do um, and then when they hit yes that's the appropriate data or they navigate away from that page we continue to move them forward in this, this forward navigation process like I'm doing with these buttons here. And you can see that as I do this, I'm building a larger and larger back stack of navigation, which ultimately becomes a problem. So what we want to do is find a way to avoid this and allow the user to get back to the home page, generally something we would do from our application bar. I'll have a home icon that allows them to navigate back to the home screen. Uh, but you can see that just by doing this that I've created a labyrinth of getting back to where I really want to go and I'm seeing the same pages over and over and over. So instead of doing this what I recommend is using um, either the can go back, recognize which page they're on and if they're going back to the same page um, navigate them backwards rather than forwards uh, but also if you want to get them back to the home screen very easily we can have a home button just like this and if they click on this what we do is implement the go home event handler that's part of the layout route, uh, the layout aware page and when I click on home button you can see that I've been taken back to page A with no navigation stack to speak of. Um, this is how we make that happen uh, and I hope this helps illustrate it.